this is uh, Matthew French from the French Family Farm. Here we're giving you an additional little tour here. We've got this morning where this is our brood house and we're going to be emptying it out. As a matter of fact, we've already emptied it out and pulled uh, the chicks out that have been in there for the past uh, about week or so. They come out and we're getting ready to rebed this. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can see down here, you can see we've got uh, sawdust or pine shavings is basically what it is. And we'll take that and spread it around, make a nice solid layer all the way across. As you can see on the other side, there's uh, still some boards showing at the bottom of the brooder. Uh, we had only half the brooder in operation for the past few days because we only had about 26 chicks in there. And so we're adding the next, next round of chickens in there. And uh, we'll show you those here in just a few minutes. But I gotta get this sawdust spread around, get their lights situated, get their waterers in there, and fill their feed trays full so they can have plenty to eat. All right, so we got everything in place now. We've got all our sawdust spread out, and it's the brood house is ready for the chicks. We've got their waterers ready. Got some feed in there waiting on. The lamps turned on, and now this is the way we get our chicks. And uh, just in case some folks wonder, we order them, and they are overnighted to us through the the post office. So I picked these up this morning, and I'm going to open it up, and there's 50 chickens in here. Just a bunch of little fuzzballs. They're only a day old, so they just hatched yesterday, and they look good and healthy. All of them moving around, none of them acting droopy or anything, but they look like they're really hungry and really thirsty to me. So let's grab a, grab a handful of them here. And stick them in here. And let them go. I like to put them near the feed, near the water, near the food, if they're close to all of it. And they can find it real fast because I'm sure they're hungry. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these loaded. They're all in there. This is the fun part, just kind of watch them a little bit. They'll just take off darting here and there and everywhere, run around checking things out. And they'll find this water. Some of them have already found it and some of them have already found the feed. And they'll start eating. So I'm going to decide to sit underneath the lamps down here and try and warm up a little bit. And then uh, then they'll dive in and start eating and drinking. They'll all find the waters and the feeders within probably about an hour. Now they've got they've got plenty of space. This, this brood house is big enough to hold a little over 100 chickens with no problem. And they'll stay in here for about two weeks and, uh, and grow and get the feathers on them. And then we'll we'll take them, put them out in the field. Now, so no, so nobody worries about these chicks with them being overnight through the mail. I know some people have concerns about that. But the day old chicks, as soon as they're hatched, they're boxed up and uh, and and shipped out to us overnight. And as long as they're not fed and they're not watered before they leave the hatchery, they're fine. They can actually go for a little over 24 hours without feed or water, and they won't be hurt or bothered by it. But once they've been fed, once they've been watered, you can't stop. So that's that's the key to it. If the if you start feeding them and water them, you have to keep the feed and water up, or they will they will die. It's uh, it's pretty interesting how they work, but but that's the way it works. So once they get in here and they get to eating real good, you get them some water. Already a lot of them are enjoying the space they've got. I'm sure it was probably not a lot of fun being cramped up in a little box, but they're here now and. Uh, they're going to have a, a happy eight weeks. Uh, I'm going to take now, and I, I'm going to take you out to the field. We're getting ready to drop some chicks in a, in a pen and uh, let them start feeding on grass. And uh, we're going to get them fed and watered and in a pen so that they can uh, start enjoying the outdoors a little bit. So let's go check that out. Well, we've made up on top of the hill, and uh, this is where we keep our chickens for the next six weeks, and, and they get the best view around, so make sure you have the best tasting chicken around. We uh, got, them, got them up here. They're in some of these barrels. We, keep, we use these barrels for transport to and from the pens, and these guys, got a few over here in this one. These guys are ready to get out of these barrels, I can tell, but uh, they'll stay the next few weeks, actually the next six weeks, in this pen. This pen is actually big enough to hold 50 chickens. We're only putting 26 in there, so they're going to have plenty of room. We've already got some feed in there for them. Got their water in there waiting on them. And now all they're waiting on is us to get them out of the barrel. So I'm going to start working on that. And then uh, 
We'll take a look in the pen once they, once they get out. All right, got them unloaded. And they found the feed pan real quick. Doesn't take them long. And they're going to spend the next six weeks in this pen. And uh, right now they're just kind of checking things out, figuring out what everything is. Here for too long, they'll start messing around in the grass and figure out that that stuff's good to eat. And uh, over the next few weeks, they'll start seeing bugs, and they'll get to eat on those, and uh, they'll they'll have themselves a good time. Uh, they'll stay in here, like I said, for six weeks, and then they'll then we'll go to the to the processing, and then they'll show up at the farmers market with us. Our uh, the first farmers market we're planning on being at is the Whiffle Farmers Market, and that'll be mid May, and then uh, we'll be in. Uh, We'll also, in May, be at the Bluefield, Virginia Farmer's Market and at the Tazewell, Virginia Farmer's Market. So if you're near one of those locations, come by and check us out. Check out our booth and, uh, and uh, give us a try. Give one of our chickens a try. I think you'll find that you'll like them. Probably a lot better than anything you've ate before. And, uh, and we'd be glad to help you. If, you're, if you haven't yet already, check us out on Facebook. That's uh, facebook.com slash the French Family Farm. Or if uh, you're watching this on Facebook, check out our YouTube page. You can find us by searching for the French Family Farm on YouTube. So find us in those places. Check us out. Like our videos. Like our Facebook page. And uh, tell your friends about us. And then, like I said, make sure you come by and check us out. We'd love to meet you. Sometime if you're in the area and you'd like to see how we raise our chickens in person, we'd love to show you that too. Check out our farm. See what we do, how we do it, and why we're different than what you can find in the stores. And uh, I'm sure that uh, once you try what we produce, you'll like it better than anything you've ever had. Once again, you can uh, check us out on Facebook and YouTube. And then, of course, uh, you can give us a call if you'd like to talk to me directly. My name is Matthew French, and you can call me at 276-722-2560. Thank you, and have a blessed day.